are live baby hope all is well we had such a great week with the nfl man oh my gosh it was good i enjoyed it we had a bunch of upsets a bunch of a lot of upsets lost some money you see the main thing once you go on espn it says the broncos just hit rock bottom how russell wilson has declined who's to blame and what's next man you got a lot of people that's going to be bashing them talking about them uh, y'all know i'm going to talk about michigan state uh, michigan moving on ohio state blowout that's coming next i'm orlando chdk with top sports debate make sure you guys hit that good old subscribe button hit all the good stuff make sure you hit the like get the likes up Let's go over to NFL. We're going to hit NFL scores. All right. So I end up getting destroyed this week with sports bets. Because on Thanksgiving, well, actually, on, let me correct myself. On Thanksgiving, I went perfect. So had no problem on Thanksgiving, made some money. But on Sunday, it was just a complete beat down. Like, man, everybody I thought was going to win didn't win, man. So, I did perfect on all of these. I took the Lions to cover the spread, one that. I took the Giants to cover the spread, one that. And I took the Vikings straight up. And I did two different ones. Like, it won me $1,000 worth of um, bets. But on Sunday, first we had the Buccaneers versus the Browns. I took the Buccaneers to win straight up because what was the spread of this game? Spread of this game, I believe they had Tampa Bay, I would say probably to win what by three or somebody let me know. What was it? Somebody let me know the spread. There we go. Yep, Tampa Bay to win by three. So I'm like, you know, it's his his person that used to be his backup. Um Jacoby, Bruce said, I believe that's how you say his name. And Brady them look bad. Look bad. Couldn't finish the game off. The defense did great all game until the last second. The last few seconds of the game, they choked, gave it up, ended up losing in overtime. Brady had the ball first to win, didn't do nothing. They got the ball back again, didn't do nothing. So Brady them had more than enough time to um to win it. They just didn't do it. Bengals versus Titans. I picked the Titans to win straight up. They're at home. They're a good team, and they have their starting quarterback, veteran quarterback back, and they completely choke and lost. They was the favorites to win probably by like five. Uh, let's see. Dolphins, they was whooping on them like 30 to zero. Um, Texans finally showed they had some type of life. And end up doing a little bit of something about it. The Bears and Jets, I watched the full game. It was a very wet game. It, um, it was raining. And the Jets was completely dominating. Like dominating. Um, Mike White, he did his thing. 22 for 28. 315 yards and three touchdowns. But he basically played perfect. He had a damn near perfect game. Shout out to him. Because dude was cold with it. I can't even hold you up, but he was cold with it. All right, you got the Commanders versus the Falcons. I picked the Commanders to win straight up. I don't know if I took them only on a parlay or straight up bet. Hard for me to bet on the Commanders. They're not bad, but we know the Falcons was going to choke on that one. This one, I took the Broncos. I thought the Broncos would be able to finally do it. You still got Russell Wilson, and they got whooped on to Sam Darno. 11 for 19, 164 yards. Jeez. Like, what did um what you what did Russell Wilson do this game besides get yelled at by his teammate? So that's like the viral clip everybody's talking about. Look at that. 19 for 35. Like, uh, Third stream quarterback can go out and do this right now. You can grab any call. You can get Kaepernick right now. He can come in, ain't played in five, six years, and he can come in 
and do better in that. But you can't play that bad when you're getting paid that much money. Like they're paying, what is Russell Wilson contract? I feel like he got like a $200 million contract. He got a crazy type of contract, man. So you can't be bumming it up like that. Just can't. The Ravens, this was the worst game. This was the game that hurt the most because I put 200 on this game because it's the Ravens versus the damn Jack, Jacksonville Jaguars. I I was wondering, I'm like, it's only a three-point spread, but why? So I was, I, man, if I had, I would have put 1,000 on this game because I knew the Ravens would have blew them out, and they just kicked a bunch of field goals. They end up losing by one. Um, Trevor Lawrence ended up doing his thing, 321. Three touchdowns was great. Lamar Jackson was the rushing leader, 89 yards. Didn't eat that. But shout out to Jones. I get him on my fantasy. Or no, I actually, I think I had him on the damn bench. Didn't mean for that one. Cardinals lost a close one. Um, I didn't watch a clip where Cardinals quarterback, uh, what's his name? A little short guy. He was complaining and cussing and all that stuff. But Cardinals, I, t- I told people last year they was overhyped. It's just everything that could go right went right for them. And, you know, and the Raiders won in overtime. Raiders is an overtime team. They, like, they don't blow no team out. They don't get blown out. It's going to come down to the end every single second. And it was crazy because Josh Jacobs did an 86-yard walk-off TD in an overtime a run and play. Um, the Rams played without – um. Without Matthew Stafford, without Cooper Cub, I don't even know who their backup quarterback is. Who is um, the Rams? It's funny, like with these top teams, you don't even know who their backup quarterback is. Who the hell is B. Perkins? Never heard of him a day in my life. 100 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, ran for 44 yards. Never heard of Perkins. Let me know where he's from. But shout out to him. Get that black brother some playing time. Get that black brother some opportunity. I'm always game with that. Next, you add the Saints versus the 49ers, 13-0. It's just no comment on that. And the Eagles, fly, Eagles, fly. With this game, you had Green Bay, what's his name, end up going out. Aaron Rodgers end up going out with an injury during this game. I called it at the beginning of this year. I said it in my sports debate Um my Facebook sports debate. I told people from the beginning. I said, look, Aaron Rodgers, as soon as he traded, you know, as soon as they got rid of um, Adams, Devontae Adams, your best player, your best receiver, and Aaron Rodgers didn't go to bat for him, I'm like, bro, they're going to be trash. The Lions are going to possibly be able to beat him. Like, they're, they're going to be a trash team. And I said, what's going to happen the way Aaron Rodgers is, he's such a diva and going to complain. I said, he's going to fake an injury, and he's just going to not play and let the other, other boy play. Now, I didn't watch the injury because, so I don't know, is it a serious injury? Like, I think it's his um his side or something. I didn't see exactly what the injury is about. So, we actually checked that out. But, Jalen Hurts, that brother is 10-1, and one, man. 10-1. That's crazy. A lot of um good things. A lot of good things. 153 yards, two touchdowns. They just did what they need to do to win. And damn, Jalen Hurts got 157 yards rushing? Oh, that boy was balling. That boy was balling. Aaron Rodgers, 140 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Two interceptions won't do it. But I'm surprised, like, it was this close. They lost by seven with Aaron Rodgers going down. Like, was this in Lamp? No, it wasn't in Lambeau Field. So... It was interesting. Yeah, I got whooped on. Let me see any of my fan do bets. That's a good – that's a crazy thing about the sports bets, man. Some weeks you can just be impeccable, and some you can just get your what, – what is this doing? Oh, I didn't click log in. I don't know what it did. Let's try. There we go. Mm-hmm. That work. All right. Where is my bets? 
I hate because I never really do it on. This. Uh, oh, sports book. There we go. I was on the wrong thing. I know it wasn't. I was going to old school fan duel. My bets. So today I got the Colts to win straight up 100, win me 169. And I completely got destroyed. Philadelphia Eagles won that. Lost Baltimore Ravens 200. Lost Tampa Bay 100. Lost Tennessee Titans 100. Got destroyed on my parlays. Like, yeah, it was a um, full-blown ass kicking. But, you know, it's the name of the game. It comes with the territory when you do be into the sports. So I just did this video. I'm about to talk about my Michigan and Ohio State game. Next, make sure you guys on that hit that subscribe button. I'm Orlando Cheetah K at Top Sports Debate. Appreciate you guys. Hope all is well. Let me know if you want me to cover anything else with sports. The goal is to start doing this more. Since we're aiming to be monetized ASAP, I can start bringing you guys more quality content instead of just updates and stuff. But you got to do what you got to do. I'm out.